Poke it, smell it, shake it, sleeve it. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Remember, you can still vote for us for show of the year at the streamies by tweeting, I'm voting for hashtag good mythical morning for show of the year at the hashtag streamies. You can do that up to 100 times a day, or you can just follow the link in the description. Thank you for your vote. Thank you so much. We have invented a game. This is gonna be fun. It's called, what's up my sleeve? All you gotta have is a long sleeve, something to put up it, and then someone else to guess uh, <laughs> what that thing may be. Yes. Um, this is gonna be very fun. We, uh, we're we gonna alternate. Yes, we are. Walking out with things up our sleeves and we are going to have to guess and points will be tallied. This and is a competition. We have a few lifelines. You can poke it, smell it, or shake it. Yes. Uh, and we each have those lifelines available to us. We can use each one of those one time. That should make it very interesting. And the winner of this heated competition gets full Tattoo sleeve sleeves. Hey, that's what I've always wanted. Sounds painful. Let's play. What's, What's up, up, my sleeve? sleeve? Round one. Oh, sleeved one, enter. Oh man, there's a nice profile on that sleeve. See, you're sporting a hoodie. What is that, like a baby doll in there? Hey, turn it this way, brother. What? Can you speak or are you a mime too? What's up, my sleeve? <laughs> How you like my hoodie? It's fine. It's a little tight. It is a, it's little, a little form fit. It is a, it is a little tight. <laughs> now, okay. Oh, 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 I'm I'm gesturing at it. But I'm you not look, gonna touch that it. Look like a poke. Did but you it, poke it? No. Hold it out. If you touch it, it counts as a poke, and you get one poke. I can one see. One poke. I can see uh, light coming through there. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can. <laughs> what is that? Are you not seeing right here? You got a little dampness. Yeah, yeah. Little leakage. Something is peed. Got a little leakage right. in my sleeve. All right, I want you to shake it. <laughs> my sleeve or myself? The sleeve, the arm. Not giving me much. <laughs> <laughs> Should have poked it. <laughs> I always say that. But I do think I know what it is. It's a water gun. Yours it's a, a handgun. A water gun shaped like that? Yeah, it's like I can grab it right there and I can squish the water gun. I think I'm right. Okay. You gonna take your shirt off? Don't be too dramatic about it. Oh, it's an iron? Oh, dude, I, w I was convinced. It's an iron, Link. No, because look, I thought this is where you grabbed, and I saw the, the, the light going through there, and I thought it was like a water gun. Well, you thought wrong, as my mom used to say. Are you sure this isn't a water gun? Well, it probably could be used as one, but that doesn't count. Round two. Come hither, sleeved one. It's a, little, it's a little dainty. <laughs> the, What's up, my the sleeve? The sweater and the object is a little dainty. Hmm. Well, the interesting thing is if I saw you in public, I would just think you had a goiter. This is definitely <laughs> some kind of growth. It isn't that I want to tell that guy there's something up his sleeve, I want to be, uh, I, I got to make sure I don't make eye contact with that when I talk to this guy. Right. Maintain eye contact. So I, I'm compelled to maintain, maintain eye contact with you, but I shouldn't be doing that. I should be investigating. Whoa. <laughs> Where's that sound coming from? <laughs> what's down your pants? <laughs> what's that? What's that sound? It's my chair. It's the farty chair. Okay, this thing is. I mean, this thing is asking for a poke. <laughs> you know what time it is? It really is. I'm going for the poke, and I get one poke. But, and it can't be a prolonged poke, but it can be a slow poke. And I would recommend poking from the top down. Oh, really? Okay, here we go. <laughs> she bounces back. But not really. She halfway bounces back. She's got a little divot in her now. It's a jelly donut. Did you see jelly come out my sleeve or something? It's not a jelly donut, not my final answer. <laughs> Maybe it is. Does jelly have to come out just because you poke a jelly donut? Depends on where you poke the jelly donut if jelly comes out of said donut. Maybe it's a muffin. <laughs> a muffin. <laughs> <laughs> it's a muffin, final answer. <laughs> oh, here, reach your hand under there. It's a muffin, man! Oh. There it is. Mm. Eat that muffin top. Round three. Enter O Sleeved One. Looking a little saggy. <laughs> That's a nice look. Hello. <laughs> What's up, my sleeve? What, you got like a sweatband that's sealing? Yes. The 
Turn you, it. You would Turn not want to way. experience this without the sweatband. <laughs> Why? Is he going to gush out? <laughs> Maybe. Wow, it's it's got some sort of texture to it. It's like a balled up net is what it looks like. Ha! Huh. It looks like if you balled up like a fishing net. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it looks heavier than a net, though. Like, oh. is it? Is, it could be chain mail. Would I have a wristband if it was chain mail? Are you holding in some sort of smell? Should I smell this one? Smelling could be helpful. All right, hold it, hold up the sleeve. Hold it in my smell place. Don't make contact with the nose. God, mm -hmm. it's horrible, but I don't know what it is. It's like <laughs> it's it smells cold and wretched. And rotten. What food looks like a like a like a rotten fishing net? You've basically given yourself the answer. I would think jellyfish, but it's too uniform. I'm gonna go with nasty spaghetti. Take off the wristband, Link. <laughs> Is that was I right? Oh, I was right. <laughs> Just because of texture alone, like it smelled gross. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's quite a lot up there, and there's cut meatballs in it too. Look at that. When Lizzie was putting this up my sleeve, it got a little awkward. Round four. Bring me your sleeves. Peter Pan, huh? Peter, Peter Pan. Can. <laughs> wow. I have very little idea at this point. You have a rubber band. Is that necessary? Not necessarily. It might be for fashion. Is the, is the hat necessary? Absolutely not. The hat is just me expressing myself. Could you extend your arm out that way? I can't. I want to see the other side of it. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay. Were you were you scared of this when it was put into your sleeve? Do you want to use a lifeline? I'm not answering your question. I would like you to shake it. <laughs> All you had to do was ask. <laughs> <laughs> Shake that money maker. <laughs> you're, you're enjoying this a lot more than you should. Like you don't need to keep shaking it. I mean, you, I mean, you shook it enough. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, definitely. I know what this is. That up your sleeve, my friend, is a garden hose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have you ever said that before? <laughs> <laughs> is it? Am I right? Yeah. Look at that, man. I'm right, man. Look at that. Woo! Look at that. I'm like Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> round five. Okay, for this next round, I'm told that there are two, count them, two related items, one up each sleeve. Bring them out, sleeved boy. Hi. I'm about to get my Eagle Scout, can you tell? You look like some kid that stuffed his shirt to look like he had muscles. What do you mean, look like I have muscles? So, there's a pattern to that. It's, Don't touch it! Come a little closer, man. And then, hmm, there's a something there. Let's see, and then let me see the other one. Whoa, it goes all the way down. I was just looking right there, because that's where I looked over there. That's right, the Boy Scouts are mysterious. I don't know what that is. Now, so what, what lifeline do I have left? Scout's honor. Ooh. Oh, you now, that's that really pointy part right there. Well, you have a poke, right? That's what you have. You've smelled and shaken, but have you poked, sir? Now, and I only get one poke on one sleeve? Pick a sleeve, any sleeve, I right, poke once. Turn this back around, I really gotta look at it a second. I just know that's gonna be hard and I'm not gonna learn anything. I think you could learn a bit by poking this. I do believe you could learn a bit. Let me poke the bicep or the... Oh, don't go a two finger poke, it's a one finger poke. Don't, don't get twice as much information. Oh, that was a touch! You no, turned a poke it? into a touch! A poke is this. You did a poke and it'll feel. You did a poke and feel. Let me poke it one more time. I don't I don't know what it is. At all. Really? Yeah. It's frustrating. Yeah, no, I go, like, quick, quick I could, poke it! I could poke it forever and I wouldn't know what it was. <laughs> Let me poke the other one. I'll give you three smells because that's all you got left. Oh, what is that? 
Well, you've poked and felt both of my sleeves more I've than already, I was ever comfortable with. I don't know. I've already guessed this, but I'm gonna guess a gun and a projectile that fires from the gun. I was gonna give you a hint by getting on my sh -na 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 knees, knees. Guns and roses. Yeah, but I didn't. didn't. Guns and roses. Yeah, but you already said guns and projectiles, so you get one point. But you are correct, Link. I did get a point. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Are those real? Yes, yeah, smell them. You could have smelled them and that would have done it too. Oh, that's and amazing. Then, then... -na 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 One, because it's not gun and roses. It's guns. It's guns and roses. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> Round six. Okay, going into the last round, we are tied. There's two points on the board for two sleeves. If I get either of them right, I win. If not, we tie. Link, come on out. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm glad you've got on those shorts. Boom, 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 boom. That's a tight outfit you got on there. What's up my sleeves? Ugh. It looks <sighs> like there's some wetness going on under there. Is there some wetness going on? I cannot neither confirm nor deny. I feel like I know. I feel like uh, I have. I at least have a guess for that, but I'm oh, gonna really? have to smell it. But I get to smell both of them, right? Yeah. I'll let you poke and feel all you wanted yep. to. Could you bring that sleeve over to me? Just let it linger right there. Now listen. I'll give you a smell, and I'll also give you a poke. I get to smell and poke. Yeah, just for the fun of it. I think I want to make this interesting. Lick it if you want to. You'll be glad you did. Mm. <laughs> There's no smell at all. It's just I can feel the coldness. All right, now I'm gonna give you, take a look at this. What do you think that is? Just pr verbally process. Uh, it looks like some kind of like uh, syringe of some kind. It's like something that you would like push on the back and then it's got some buttons. It's got like a switch right all here. Right, I'll let you poke a button. If you think it's a button, you can poke it. Put your finger out there. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's, that was dangerous. That's, that's all the hint you get. Let me, let me see. Can I poke this? You gonna let me poke this too? Yeah, poke it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> all right, it's time for your answers. That's a toothbrush over there. Well, if you think this is a toothbrush, what would be related to it under this arm? Something you need to brush your teeth after you eat. Okay. Is it teeth? <laughs> uh, I, I mean... The sooner you guess, the sooner I can get it out of here. So something you need, you need to brush your teeth for? I mean, all food. All right, here we go. Unzip me. Oh, Unzip me for the reveal. Here we go. Now just reach your hand on here and pull it out. Just, you can close your eyes. This is the real. Close your eyes, or just tell me. Pull it. Grab the whole thing. Pull it out. Okay. Pull hard, straight up. Oh my God! What? Birth it. What pull it out. Is that? Pull it. Pull no. it out, man. Both hands. Oh my God! It's a cow tongue. Gosh. Oh gosh. And what do you brush a cow tongue with? Oh. Feel the taste buds on it. I don't want to. I <laughs> Congratulations, Rhett. You said toothbrush, and you win. Well, Rhett, not only did you win, but you also didn't have to sh shove a cow tongue up your sleeve. Oh, I'm very happy about that. Ooh, Thanks for liking. He wants to lick your face. Oh, please don't. Commenting and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, this is Sid from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. You can watch Good Mythical Morning 24 hours early only at Vessel.com slash Rhett and Link. Vessel.com slash Rhett and Link. Click through to Good Mythical More where Rhett shares about an experience he had at a park with a series of weird events. This just in, alien life discovered inside man's croc. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, but this just in, Man, what? What is it? Alien life. Alien discovered life inside man's discovered croc. inside man's croc. And just to clarify, that's not a crock pot, and that's not a pet crocodile. That's a crock shoe. That's a shoe that smells like dumpster funk most of the time, and uh, yes, in yes. this case in particular, it has led to alien life being spawned.
Dashel! Dashel, slow down, Dashel! Dashel, I'm gonna take the scooter! Dashel!